Jake is a Roblox YouTuber with over 800,000 subscribers, almost at 900,000. And he started uploading videos two years ago to his Roblox channel. And now he's doing pretty well for himself. And I watched a couple of his videos, so I have a couple thoughts. This is gonna be my 10 thoughts on J and G. Hey everyone, subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribe to enter this month's shout out giveaway where we shout out one lucky person every month who subscribes and comments saying I subscribed. Now let's get on with the video. Number one, great quality thumbnails. I was surprised by how nice his thumbnails were. I was surprised that like they looked that good. I didn't know that a Roblox thumbnail could look like that. That's the type of style where if I would ever make Roblox videos, I would want those types of style thumbnails because those just look amazing. But of course, you know, those probably, those probably cost quite a bit. <laughs> but those thumbnails look awesome. So that's just like my first thought. I really like the thumbnails. So it's just like off of like a first impression type base thing. Number two, seems as if he is for an older audience. So at first glance, just looking at the thumbnails, it really did seem like he was for an older audience, not for anyone who, you know, is, you know, like, uh, 10. Um, it seems like he is like a, you know, teens and up type of YouTuber. He doesn't swear or anything like that, but that's pretty cool. But then I actually watched one of his videos and it, he definitely is not for, you know, young kids, even though it's Roblox and he doesn't swear. He's family friendly, but he doesn't. But it's like the type of content that a parent would get mad at a kid watching. You know, just because it's not as tame as you would think it is. So yeah, I really liked it and yeah. Number three, channel is doing amazing. So like I said before, he started uploading like two years ago and ever since then his channel has been doing really good, honestly. Well, it's, you know, it's Roblox, so like it's gonna do good no matter what within my opinion but yeah he's been doing really well his channel's doing amazing he has a good couple million under his belt like a million views like way more than a million views under his belt i believe his youtube channel had like 15 million something 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 like in total so that's really impressive for a channel that just started two years ago maybe he you know started uploading uh, later than that because there was one video on there that wasn't roblox and maybe he just like deleted a bunch and then came back to it later and started uploading it seriously but you never know number four started with roblox content so he did originally start with roblox content on his channel he you know has like i said he has one video that isn't roblox but that's from like two years ago and it doesn't really matter whether or not you know what that video is it doesn't really matter if it's on his channel stuff like that but he you know is an original like roblox youtuber is what i like to call them because most of the roblox youtubers within the roblox community originated from the minecraft community and this dude didn't as far as i can tell and that's pretty dope that he you know just started out with the game because he genuinely liked it number five first ever video was pokemon so i keep mentioning that like he has one video on his channel that just isn't Roblox and the rest are. Well that one video was uploaded two years ago and it is actually a Pokemon video. Of all things, Pokemon. Which is still kind of family friendly and I like Pokemon a lot so that's cool. Pokemon is just a great game and I personally love it. The new Pokemon um, Sword and Shield just came out I believe it is and I really want to play it and it's very tempting too. So yeah. Yeah, I just find that it was cool. That is just, you know, Pokemon. Yeah, you, I expected Minecraft. <laughs> That's what I expected, to be completely honest. Number six. Started uploading two years ago. So, like I keep saying, he first uploaded two years ago, but the thing is, he might have deleted some videos from way, way, way back because he might have been embarrassed of them. He might not have, you know, wanted them on his channel. He might not have wanted other people to see them. But he, you know, you know, it's two years of uploading on YouTube. He's done very well for himself for just uploading for two years. It usually takes some um, YouTubers like years and years and years and years, like five plus years to even get a foothold. 
um, or to even like get a hundred thousand subscribers or you know even less than that maybe like 50k because the, the state of YouTube like now and like for the last couple of years has kind of been a little rough but the fact that he was doing Roblox content I feel like it is what it shot him up there like he shot up there like kind of quickly with the Roblox stuff and Roblox is a big part of why that happened but his content's great either way so it's fine number seven loves Bloxburg. now the reason why i say he loves Bloxburg is because he has a full Bloxburg playlist right on the front of his channel if you scroll down just a little bit you'll be able to see it and he has quite a couple Bloxburg videos so yeah most of his Bloxburg videos do very 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 well which is amazing and you know it's great but i just feel like there's just like a whole playlist and it's just Bloxburg. that's all it is so this guy must either really like the game or is a mod on the game or is affiliated with the game in some way or you know he just really likes the game either way you know cool good for you number eight quality content now what i mean by this is his content was genuinely funny i found it kind of hilarious like the content that i was watching was just really good and i usually don't enjoy watching roblox videos and the reason why i don't really like watching a lot of roblox videos is because a lot of the time the content creator will talk to the audience through the video as if they're like dumb or as if they're like you know a small child like you know how you would talk to a baby that's how i feel like i'm being talked to by a content creator through their video and i don't like that or you know they dumb it down so much to where you know a five-year-old could watch their videos just that's the type of like feel that i get from normal roblox youtubers but then there's this guy and he's pretty funny and i actually like him quite a bit number nine funny which you know leads me into my next point he's really funny i found myself really just laughing at his videos like his jokes were really really good like his comedy is great it's kind of like the silly like weird type of you know comedy that i'm into i'm into like dumb humor if you know what that means like smosh uh south park that type of stuff i'm into that and that's basically what this dude's channel is but you know squeaky clean for youtube basically within my opinion i just feel like you know the editing is really good as well like everything about the videos i just really enjoyed because like it was genuinely good content and the reason why i keep repeating that is because like literally i've never watched a roblox video and genuinely enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed him. Well, maybe like Megan plays, but like I've been watching her since she, you know, did like Minecraft and Sims 4. But you know, because like I'm used to her, I'm used to like her personality and whatnot. You know, she acts the same as she did back then. So that's cool. But this guy is just brand new. He's kind of just like a breath of fresh air, to be completely honest. And his content is just what I really like. Number 10, family friendly. Now, just because I say that he's family friendly, it doesn't mean that he's four kids. There's a very big difference between family friendly and then being four kids. And he's definitely not for kids, or at least I wouldn't mark his videos for kids myself. Maybe he would, but he makes some kind of adult jokes within some of his videos that i've watched and to a kid those can kind of fly over their head like they'll laugh about it they'll think it's funny like they they get the comedy behind it but like the joke will fly over their head because they really won't understand it so it's kind of just like that you know like spongebob like spongebob when it first like aired and whatnot when it first came out that's what like i think that his content is because spongebob had a bunch of like jokes in it that a lot of kids just didn't understand at the time i remember watching spongebob and i laughed at the jokes but i didn't understand half of them because i didn't know what i was laughing at but yeah so this dude is family friendly so, you know obviously he has to keep it squeaky clean for youtube that's cool whatever you know you get your adsense but yeah the dude is just genuinely just a good content creator i don't know i keep repeating myself but that's just how i feel but that's gonna be it for me guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you could please like the video and also comment down below your thoughts about jake he did say his name in a video so that's why i keep calling him jake because you know that's his name his name is jake 
And yeah, and if you have subscribed, make sure to comment down below and say that you did subscribe so that way you are entered into the monthly shout out giveaway where we shout out one lucky person at the end of each month. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!